Mental health concerns continue to increase across the board, but out of every demographic, mental health issues especially affect college students. These students are balancing so much between school, work, and their social lives, which makes it easy for them to get anxious and overwhelmed. Up to 80% feel overwhelmed by their responsibilities, which can lead to many other issues. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny from eTactics, and today I'm going to explain how mental health conditions are affecting college students. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Let's take a look at some general statistics of mental health in college students. One in four students has a diagnosable mental health condition. About three quarters of those with a mental health condition experience a health crisis on campus, but more than 34% said that their college didn't know about it. The biggest concern for college students is anxiety. It affects about 51% of students and 60% say they experience overwhelming anxiety. Three quarters of those with anxiety disorders experience their first episode by the age of 22, which can then spiral into other conditions such as depression, relationship concerns, suicide ideation, self-injury, and alcohol abuse. Academics cause stress and anxiety disorder, which doesn't help with these students' already existing conditions. Students who have these conditions struggle more with functioning at school, worsening their academic performance. In 2018, 42% of students felt so depressed within a year that it was difficult to function, compared to 31% in 2009. Students note that stress, anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and depression all affect their academic performances. When these students experience trouble with academics, they're more likely to withdraw from school. They'll feel unmotivated, struggle to succeed, or experience increased issues overall. 64% of those who withdrew from college dropped out because of a mental health-related reason, and 86% of those with a psychiatric disorder leave college before completing their degree. Students who experience these problems may turn to negative coping mechanisms. They're at a higher risk for self-injury than the general population, affecting up to 35% of this group. 20% of students say they've had or currently have an eating disorder, and 20% of other students meet the criteria for alcohol abuse. When these problems go untreated, it can lead to suicidal thoughts and attempts. Suicide is the second leading cause of death on college campuses. 12% of students seriously consider suicide every year, and 1 in 12 students makes a plan for suicide, while another 9% have attempted it. What's even worse is that a lot of these students don't receive help. 45% of those who stopped attending college for a mental health-related reason didn't request accommodations from their school. 86% of students who died by suicide didn't seek any treatment. Two-thirds of those with a condition don't seek treatment. This is either because the school lacks the resources, students don't know where to go to get help, or because of negative stigma surrounding getting help. 50% of students believe that people think less of someone who receives treatment for mental health. When asked if their campus's websites included mental health resource information, 64% of students responded no or did not know. The recommended number of students per mental health staff member is 1,000 to 1,500, but the average number of students per counselor on campuses is over 1,700 students. Only 58% of four-year college students and 8% of two-year colleges offer psychiatric services. Wait times for appointments can even take up to three weeks. This limits students' ability to get the help that they need. But college officials are recognizing this issue. 94% of counselor center directors notice increasing trends in how many students have severe psychological problems. 28% of student affair administrators say that mental health concerns for students far outweigh other pressing campus issues. Almost three-fourths of university presidents say that they're allocating more funds to address the problem. Since professionals are recognizing the growing issue and the need for more mental health services, this is positive for getting help the students need. Over the last decade, mental health issues have become a much bigger concern. The rates that people experience conditions continue to increase, but they're especially prominent among college students. When conditions go untreated, they just get worse. Thankfully, professionals recognize these problems and are looking into more effective ways to address them. If you'd like to learn more about mental health and college students, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.